So you want the best gun in Tarkov. Here it is. <laughs> Alright, let's get the build in the actual thing. Alright, so to build this M1A, this is exactly what you're going to need. So you want your little base of your M1A, the actual receiver of the gun. And your first part is going to be your Troy Sass chassis for the M14. Go ahead and slap that on there. Next thing you're going to want is the 22 inch barrel. Gives you the best recoil. Now this is a new item they just recently added to the game. It's called the Mesa Tactical Crosshair Hydraulic Buffer Tube. It gives you negative six recoil and only minus three ergo. It's really worth it for the additional two ergo that you get, or the additional two recoil that you get. And then the next best pistol grip that I've found, for the price at least, is the uh, the, uh, the Magpul Mo AR-15 pistol grip. It gives you 10 ergo. It's pretty good. It's probably the best thing you'll find on the market. And then here you go, you want the RK24 grip, and these tend to not be on the flea market, so you could always go with like an RK1, gives you still minus four, but this is the best in-slot item for recoil. The next, this will be the sight you're gonna slap on there. This is obviously interchangeable, but this gives you minus one recoil, if that matters to you a significant amount. Then you wanna slap on the HKE1 stock, gives you minus 39% recoil, it's the best stock for it in-slot with the ergo as well. And slap that on top of that amazing new buffer tube. And then this is the part that kind of changes everything. So your horizontal recoil is still at 80 right now, right? And you want to get down to that nice sweet number of 34. So we're going to have the Lantac Dragon muzzle brake. We're also going to have the Lantac Blast Mitigation Device. We're going to slap these two together. Actually, no, we're not. And then you have the Direct Threat Adapter for the Lantac Blast Mitigation Device. You're going to slap these two together. And then you're going to slap these into there and then slap it on the end of your gun. And there you go, you get your vertical recoil down to 34, you have a horizontal recoil of 30 or 62, and then you have ergonomics of 50. And it's a really great gun. Obviously, obviously you can slap whatever mag in there you want. If you use like M62 rounds, it'll give you even less recoil. And it's, it's just a really great gun overall. This is the best, this is the best gun in the game. It's, it's the best gun in the game, unquestionable. It's better than an SA-58. It has less recoil than an SA-58, and you can fire it way faster if you just have the trigger finger for it. So here's the best in slot. But you can change it up. This is how I like to change it up at least, you know, just for my own personal preference. Slap a little Reaper on there. I mean, obviously it's gonna increase the price, guys, but you know, the actual like effect that it has on the gun. You have a Reaper with Canthid PK06, and then you have your Hollow Sun that's gonna give you that really, really nice um, infrared laser on there, and it's just gonna tear it up, guys. And let's look at the actual recoil. As you can see, I was testing it out a lot earlier. Let's go ahead and with the sight, and let's just mag dump it into this first guy right here. Let's go to this guy. As you can see, it's you can barely tell there's any recoil. Well, let's just jump ahead right to this guy right here. So this is about, I don't know, I would say like 30 meters away. He's not going to be having a good day after that. He's dead. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. It's, it's all over from there. And you got your little canted sight that you can switch to at any time. And fuck up any enemies that you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know down in the comment section below. And let me know what gun you want to see next. Peace out, guys.